Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be looking into is actually my biggest wishes for No Man's Sky in 2019. Now, I understand this video is probably a bit late since it's uh, actually bordering summer right now, but there is still a decent amount of time left in the year to speculate about what No Man's Sky can add once the Beyond update drops so this video is aiming to ignore what i want to see from beyond itself as that may indeed be a topic for another video i guess you could say this is my wish list once beyond does officially come out so with all of that said and done please do sit back and relax let's get started okay so number one more space physics this is one of the largest missing features that we still don't have in current day no man's sky for a number of different reasons and this is by far the biggest pre-release feature i would absolutely love to see now when i refer to space physics i talk about a lot of different things this covers an absolute wealth of content but if we relate it back to pre-release no man's sky if we relate it back to what Sean said before the game dropped, this includes planet rotation, a real sun that isn't a skybox, manual warping to new systems, and having the planet's climate be decided by the position of the sun. These were all features that were spoken heavily about in the days leading up to No Man's Sky launch, and not a single one of these features actually exist in the game today. Now, I believe this is one of the reasons why space feels so static and unloved. It definitely feels like there was support supposed to be more and what we have in the present day is a much more stripped back and basic version of what was planned. Now these features in my opinion would completely solve the issue with space in the current day of No Man's Sky. Space would be alive, it would be moving and this should hopefully make space gameplay less static and a whole load more rewarding. Now when talking about space physics we of course are assuming a lot from Hello Games. Changing a sky box to a physical object alone is something very very impressive and there are a number of different features which were supposedly in the game at launch like planetary rotation but we never quite saw them in action whether it's a technical problem or a design choice we don't know but by far it is one of the things that really bothers me in current day no man's sky number two more fucking color look boys you knew this was going to be in here i'm an avid fan fan of the original No Man's Sky aesthetic, that proper retro sci-fi look that basically defined No Man's Sky in the days leading up to launch. Now in the modern day, we obviously don't have a version of No Man's Sky that looks like how it did say two years ago, and love it or hate it, there has definitely been a shift in style. Now I'm not asking for the current day colours to actually be replaced by the older colours, because I know a lot of people really like the look of modern day no man's sky but there should at least be some planets that hold an original aesthetic you know the best of both worlds now i recently made a video which was a proof of concept update i wanted to call it the nostalgia update which would basically add outdated systems to no man's sky systems that were never updated to the newer versions of the game and as such hold a load of the old colors and old aesthetic from launch day no man's sky and this is something along the lines which i would like to see when relating to the whole colored debate now don't get me wrong the visions update was definitely a step in the right direction but we just need a bigger version of that update which focuses on the original aesthetic so much more and not adding new colors also as a side note when we're talking about this whole color debate please stop locking colors to specific biomes i am fed up of landing on fucking cold planets and they're all blue and they all look the same and they all have green leaves and the exact same models of trees why can't i have an orange tree on a blizzard planet or i don't know green snow you know it's space anything can happen 
Number three, less of a focus on handmade assets. Similar to the shift in art style, No Man's Sky in recent times have made a shift in content added with their updates. New updates like Visions and the Abyss update brought in new flora and animals, but they're not procedurally generated in a game all about procedural fucking generation. Now, a prime example of this, which I always like to bring up, are the new hazardous plants that explode. These were the things which were added in Visions to try and combat the repetitiveness of only having whip plants as a means of getting pissed and taking your health away. But these models which were added with Visions all look the same. There is no difference no color, no site design choices. They were literally made by an artist and put in the game and that was it. Hello Games needs to allow these new additions to utilize procedural generation and not just be developed by a developer. This would solve the repetition problem, but this isn't just an isolated issue. This is a much larger issue with No Man's Sky in general. We need more procedural generation in everything and I really, really, Really do hope that Hello Games are going to shift their focus to making the game much more varied and procedural rather than creating new handmade assets and using that as their so called variety. And finally, we have revitalized community missions. So, community missions just sort of died off with no real explanation. I can't even remember why they stopped. Was it because they were releasing updates? I, I literally cannot remember, but they were easily my favorite pastime in between updates. Now, I would obviously love for these community missions to return, but to be done a lot better. One of my biggest requests for revitalized community missions would be way more concise release times on when they're starting, when they're finishing, and the missions actually finishing when they say they do. I remember playing missions which were supposed to finish, say, 21 hours ago, but they were still going on. It created this awkward feeling of not really knowing what was going on, and it kind of felt like you were cheating the system a bit or the server had fucking exploded or something horrible like that. This would be obviously a great starting place. This is the foundation of having something which is a lot more improved. But beyond this, I guess they could just make the community missions 10 times better in terms of more varied tasks, having customization items, not just for you and your base, but your ship, your multi-tool. Anything new would be welcome. And of course, when Beyond does release and uh, community missions hopefully make a comeback, utilize No Man's Sky Online. This is your big multiplayer overhaul update. You can do so much with community missions. You can make them feel so much more alive and varied and dynamic. It would be an absolutely horrific missed opportunity if Hello Games did not do this. So guys, that is just about all I have to say for this video, but I do just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please do feel free to leave a like on it. And if you guys could also subscribe to MZK, then that'd be absolutely fantastic. And as always, I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimp Boot, signing out.